old chip right there, another year. Not a moon. It's on top of the planet. That's not a moon. No. Oh, there's another one on the South Pole. Jupiter right there. That ain't no moon either. freaking moon that is a spacecraft right there on the south pole of Jupiter and NASA stories but this is the only way to see this these anomalies it's to brighten up the the screen to the max. That's incredible, oh my goodness. Clock, look at that. It's sitting on top of the planet. <clears throat> that is one gigantic ass the size of Earth. Electromagnetic vehicles. And look at that chain of round objects right there. It looks like a bird necklace. You tell me those are storms, my butt. Yeah, right, they're all the same exact diameter. That is impossible. I mean, just like I say, the wind swirls around structures. Look, there is a pair of eyes right there. The winds on the upper, upper atmosphere, they're going fast, but at the ground level, they're only a mist that goes around the structures. That big eye, that is wind going around, a freaking red structure. The structure is red, not the, the gas. We've been lied. We've been lied to death by NASA. And the stupid ass astronomers believe all those lies. And all those giant planets has hexagon, all of them. 
in the north and the south pole. This is an old video taken by Voyager, I believe. So this is the shadow of two moon, probably Miranda and what's the other moon that is big? There is another object, that's not a freaking moon. No, I mean, that's on top of the planet. That's not a moon in a million years. No moon, it, it would be sucked into the planet, a moon that close. This is an electromagnetic vehicle, and it's bigger than Earth. At least the size of Earth. That is one huge ass vehicle, my goodness. Well, the one that Dr. Bergman found in Saturn, some of them were over 70,000 kilometers. That's about roughly 60,000 miles. There is another object right on top of the planet, and another one, and another one. I mean, I, I can sit here and count them all. There's no wing or nothing, that's on top of the planet. Like I said, if that was a moon, it would be sucked into the planet by the, the gravity. It's impossible. Like I say, NASA has bullshit all these people. I mean, and nobody question anything. Why the picture is still bad quality after the the quality improve over years. The high definition cameras and they're still showing us a crappy shit from the 1970s. Another object right there, that one look metallic. That socket look metallic and it's on top of the planet. I mean right on top of it. It's just amazing to see all these things and, and these people don't, I mean, that object is cylindrical, it's not round, it's cylindrical. It's poking out of the atmosphere. It's a, a black round hole around it. I mean, it's an object that appeared for a second. Look at that one, that's right on top of the red eye. That is one gigantic ass object. It's casting its shadow on top of the red eye. Imagine that. This is sad, man.
she has quality, image, quality. It's been sanitized to death. Saying she and NASA make us white. This is a gigantic structure right there on the far side. And another one here. It's just it's been so much and overexposed that you can hardly see anything. Check it out by just darkening the image. The biggest space right there. Structures sticking out, out of the moon into space, but it's not in this picture. Uh, this is a, a copy of a copy of a copy. <laughs> 